Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Bitcoin dropped yesterday. Um, the US government moved Bitcoin and Israel attacked Lebanon. And that's what set off the drop in the markets. We're going to jump into technicals for uh, Bitcoin. I'm going to look at Tesla because Tesla was pumped the day before yesterday, dropped 4% yesterday on the potential of war. So that was not a good day in the markets. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up on the ton of you can see Bitcoin sitting at 65,900, came down to 65,200, bounced. That was 70,000 a few days ago. Then we got a bounce at 66,400, came to 67. Then on the war news, dropped down. Um, volume quite big on Bitcoin. I'm seeing no major pattern in the short term. Fear and greed index back, still at greed, but dropped to 61. It was in the high 70s before funding fees, 1%, 66K on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin even dropping... Right now, the last 15 minutes from 66,200 to 65,900. So they were still having drops now. We're going to jump in charts for Bitcoin, uh, uh, Tesla. Let's jump into technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going into technicals. And I'm also going to read your comments um, from yesterday. I'm doing technicals on TradingView. You can uh, uh, tradingview.com. You can learn in the Crypto Master Course. Crypto Guru bought fire to Blue Buy February 2023. Get it in jamescryptoguru.com. Still a Blue Buy now. Bitcoin Indicator bought fired a buy off the bottom there. Still a buy. It hasn't fired a sell. Stochastic turning crossing. Or oh, oh, stochastic crossing to head down. Any major pattern here? Descending broadening wedge, which is a bullish pattern. It's a descending broadening wedge. Builds pressure and breaks out. That's all I'm seeing so far. And we're still on the first count. Let's go close on to the daily. Stochastic coming down to oversold, dropping down the stochastic on the daily, which is very interesting. Very quick drop from the highs on the stochastic. I mean, we did have quite a big drop from 60, from 70K down to 65K, so 5K drop. What I'm seeing in the shorter term time frame is it's making an interesting looking cup and handle. Cup and handle forming here on Bitcoin. And we see these two patterns, the one year trend line. Actually, let's put it, the one year trend line, if we line up that touch, it's beneath it. If you do it like those two touches. But now we need to take out, we need to take this out, I would say, because um, we did break it and then bounce back. You can see the 200 moving average, the 200 weekly moving average. We've been above it since June 2023 or even before, since the beginning of 2023. We've been above it most of the time. Now we're quite close to it. Um, let's go closer on the four hourly stochastic oversold on the four hour coming very close to activating my trade from yesterday. In yesterday's video, I set the trade at 64,700. We came down to 65,300. <clears throat> I am seeing a pattern here. This is the first wave count on Bitcoin that we're in. And we could say this is a kind of a bit of a little trend line, but not really. 200 moving average. Inverse head and shoulders still showing up here as well. Shoulder, head, shoulder could form. Volume spiking, not dropping on that drop. Interesting. Hmm. I would so that trade from yesterday I would keep. It's quite risky now. If you want to take a safer one, I, that, I would consider that the risky trade. A safer trade, I would take off this major area of support here, 62. So these are the two trades I would take on Bitcoin. One at 62K and target 88K. On, on the, we're having the first to second wave correction. Is this the first? Yeah, look, we hit the first wave already. It came close to my target. It doesn't look like it's correcting, but it looks like it's... Corrected a little bit, then came back. Corrected a little bit, then came back. Corrected a little bit. Let's see if it bounces back. If it bounces back, it's showing massive strength and the first wave isn't finished. If this was the first wave finished, the second wave is going to be beautiful when this first wave finishes because that was quite a big move for the first wave. Those are the two trades I'll take on Bitcoin. One at 64.849, stop loss 64, take profit 88, risk to reward 59 times, risking $800 to make $50,000 per Bitcoin. And this is the second trade I'll take, 62. The, this one is more risky, the one at 64. You can make the stop loss less, so you take less risk. 64, stop loss, 64381. So it's risk 468 to make 50K dollars, 468. And this one I would take for a safer trade um, off the monthly support. 
risking 662, opening at 62,271, stop loss 61,600, take profit 88k, the same target. You can even move it to 115k, then these three targets, 72, 88, and 115 will be take profit targets. That's the trades I would take on Bitcoin. If you want to see like you train my trades <clears throat> underneath the video, if you want to trade like me, sign up to Bybit, you get a $30,000 bonus. Bybit is the best exchange that I use for trading. Um, and I've tried all the others, Binance, BingX, BitMEX, all of them. Bybit is the one that I like the most. I've been using it for the last five years for trading with no issue. You get a $30,000 bonus if you use that link. In my opinion, they're the most secure exchange, the lowest fees, the lowest liquidation spikes. Um, take the crypto master course to learn all this $333 for 12 lessons where you learn deep technical analysis and trading and then join us in the telegram My trades over on Bybit my Bitcoin trade is currently $29,700 in the profits funding fee still 0 0.01 big drop on Bitcoin funding fee still 0.01 It's a $267,000 trade just under $30,000 in profits dropping from $40,000 in profits this account 574 this week we went from 575 to 597 back to 585 and this month from 513 to 574 very choppy last few months on Bitcoin Okay, let's go into I want to check out Tesla now and let's look on weekly on Bitcoin. What does it look like? Giant cup and handle I see on the weekly on Bitcoin. Massive cup and handle that if that plays out, target is huge. The target on this cup and handle, if this plays out, would be the base of the, the cup for Bitcoin. Base of the cup. And if that plays out, target we would be talking about would be sitting at two hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars for Bitcoin. Two hundred and fifty yeah, two hundred sixty nine thousand dollars for Bitcoin would be the target of this giant cup and handle if that plays out. Also, what's interesting is that target is the same target that I had for my halving target, which is cool. I'll show you what I mean. This two sixty nine, this target here is from my the halving target. I'll have to explain in another video. Not enough time now. Tesla two two two, um, big drop yesterday on Tesla. On the weekly stochastic turning down, big volume coming in. But on the weekly stochastic turning down, inverse head and shoulders played out. We pumped out this one that I was talking about before, if you remember. Um, that played out beautifully, that inverse head and shoulders. Let's go close on the So on the weekly stochastic is coming down, but volume strong, finding resistance at this triangle, this resistance. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's why my trend lines change, because it switched to log. That's annoying that they put this log here. Why did they do that? Annoying. So not necessary. I have to try and remove it. Trading view didn't need to add those options. Um, that's why my chart changed on Bitcoin. So you can see here on Tesla, we broke out of this inverse head and shoulders. We broke out of this descending wedge that played out, broke out. And now we're finding resistance on this bigger overall pattern, which we we broke out and then we come back inside. This is a symmetrical triangle, builds pressure, builds pressure, breaks out the trend to the base of the triangle, this distance here. And that target on Tesla has been my target for, from the beginning, which is 575. We broke out and come back, came back in. And I said we could come back to 200, bounce, or even, even probably 153 is also possible, then break out. Very possible. Unlikely we break 200, but very possible in this market with the yesterday, um, uh, the markets dropped like crazy. You had, you had a lot of the tech stops drop. Like Nvidia, for example. Nvidia wiped out. It's down seven percent yesterday. It hit my target of one thirty six. Who remembers my one thirty six target on Nvidia? For some reason, not showing on the chart. But it hit my one thirty six target actually, which is beautiful. It almost hit it. Almost exactly. I had it at 136. It was 143. And then it dropped 40% since then. It, I don't know why it's not showing here. But remember I had my original NVIDIA target that I drew technicals. Weird. Okay, let's re see some of your requests. This is the comments down below. MCRT, the team is building amazing. Check it out. They're releasing amazing stuff every day. I'm really, I've been buying a lot more, but you have to do your own due diligence. I was a seed investor in MCRT. Democrats are playing mind games. Yesterday, they moved billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, which sent off that panic. 
James, bro, thanks for your great videos. Been following you since you called the top in 2021. This is when I joined crypto. Thanks, Mr. Gamer. Glad you got in back then. James, please look at HBAR. Okay, some requests for HBAR. I like you. It's a great idea. Help us. Thanks. Wait, 58 now, 66, 5, 5. I don't think we come down 58, but very possible if this war escalates. Um, James, you forgot to choose a winner yesterday. The team picked the... I forgot to choose it in the video during the video, but the team picked the winner and posted it and shared it on socials, etc. Um, it's dangerous to trade Bitcoin now. It's choppy. There's a lot of volume. Awesome, brother. Keep up the amazing work, James, and continue inspiring others. Life-changing stuff for sure. Have an awesome day on purpose with purpose. Thank you, beautiful, the seven-figure team. Did anyone win that Tesla with the MCRT logo? That so inside the MCRT NFT, the Genesis collection, there is a hidden Tesla in there. It has not yet been won, which is interesting. Sorry, the bonus on the Bybit card. Yesterday, I said in the Bybit card, the you get on you get a thirty thousand dollar bonus. And a one thousand dollar bonus on the card. That's not correct, everyone. The bonus on Bybit card is up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonuses and twenty five dollars when you sign up. Not a thousand dollars on the Bybit card sign up. Ah, uh, James, you did not pick a winner for one. They chose it in the video. Um, the team already picked it, um, which is beautiful. And over on Twitter as well. On X, you can follow me on Twitter. I've got 85,400 people. Bitcoin dropped from a long time. Uh, you can just see the things. Oh, this was a video of S Sam Bankman Freed trading on FTX. I don't actually like his style. The US government balance, Bitcoin balance. They moved from July 28 to July 30. They sold 10,000 Bitcoin, everyone. The US government sold 10,000 Bitcoin. And that's what's been sell dropping off the price. We are thrilled to announce brand new addition to the MCRT ecosystem. Magic Chess coming soon to your mobile device and browser. Oh, team released chess. We play to earn Web3 system. Awesome. Great job, Magic Craft team. Um, this week started with 120. 4 million in inflows on Bitcoin on the ETFs, which is beautiful. Let's do HBAR because that's what you guys requested. I, I don't know this project very well. <clears throat> HBAR. Whoa, crazy. From Went all the way to 18. I've I never seen this project before. I heard about it once, but I never looked into it. <coughs> it went to 18 cents and then back to 0 0.06. Let's start off always on the weekly time frame so you get the overall picture. So the bottom of HBAR was three cents. Crazy swings. Crazy swings. From the bottom of 2000, even, even as back as October 2023, if you were to buy a HBAR and sell it at the top, you made 300% on HBAR, which is not that good, actually. We made that on Bitcoin. We bought Bitcoin at 16K. If you followed my videos in last year, and it's now 70k so you made 300 percent anyway this is the trend line on h bar so it is finding a trend line but again the major support to buy is these supports these yellow lines so just be very cautious buying before these yellow lines because most likely it will pull back to there especially with low volume i would even say that 43 is the major support everyone so i'd wait till 0 0.045 to try and long it if you're looking to long h bar um <clears throat> which is beautiful. That's my updates in the market. Don't forget, join us in the Telegram. There's 113 of you online. There's the US government debt reached 35 trillion yesterday, which is crazy. Um, and you can just join there and discuss with everyone. Love you all. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. And you can follow these charts. You can have them on your TV, bitcoinprice.live. Now 6,400 people, 6,480 people uh, have been watching 2.4 trillion market cap, 2.48 on the market cap. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.